Hey y'all, what's happening? It's your brother in the footwork and your footwork news boy, DJ Cornerstone. And you're watching Give Us The Works on the Footwork Out YouTube channel, where I interview various dancers, DJs, and producers. So y'all pay attention as our guest today gives us the works. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your brother in the footwork and your footwork news boy, DJ Cornerstone. And man, it is my joy and pleasure to have with us today on the show a man of so many different hats, man. Raw DJ, raw track producer, raw footworker, creator of Why Not Positivity Apparel, motivational social media influencer, motivational speaker. I can go on, man. I'm going to let it off because he's going to tell us more during the interview. But y'all, give it up for our brother DJ, Larry Hot. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, man, you told me I'm like, all right, man, go ahead and do my intro. <laughs> hey, hey, man, yeah. just let me know what day I start. <laughs> I'll make myself available. All right. All right. Oh, shoot, yeah, man. But again, man, much thanks to you, man. Oh, man, I appreciate you, man. Appreciate I, you. I see you. You stay busy and active. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. how does he how does he post so much, man? How does he get all that like golly? Yeah. <laughs> man, I try to, you know, I try to lot, man, you know what, uh Cornerstone? Um yeah. I try to get as much content as possible. Like I could be doing anything random and just say I'm driving or anything. I'm like, you know what? When it comes to my head, let me go ahead, pull open, let me get this video in real quick. Oh, keep on going, you know. Um, I got a lot of things in my notes. Like if I'm driving or anything, I just hit it right to the voice note. If I want to just say something for the brand, I got a new a new collection I want to release. It's just, man, I just try to be on point so I can have it when I, because it's, no, it's, it's not that much time in the day. <laughs> so, yeah, I got a lot of stuff backlogged. <laughs> Oh, man. It's like you just make it a lifestyle, man. And then, you know, it won't be that difficult for you. Mm. That's, yeah. I'm digging it. Make it, y'all, make it a lifestyle. Yes, indeed. Yeah, so there's as much practice that comes in with making it a lifestyle. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Man. So for the folks who don't know you, which, mm -hmm. you know, I don't think there's too many of them, especially in the footwork <laughs> community. But uh, <laughs> can you tell everybody where you're from? All right, man. Yo, first off, uh, I want to thank Cornerstone, man, for having me, you know, on this pod, man. Uh, keep on rolling, man. I love what you're doing. And uh, it's definitely needed in the community. Um, my name, man, Larry, Larry Hot. You can know me as Larry Hot, Hot, DJ Larry Hot, uh, Life Host, Larry Hot. Uh, like you said, I wear a lot of hats. Um, I'm from Chicago, man, South Side. I lived all over the South Side, so it's like, you know, when you mention South Side, I know it's like the back of my hand. Um, <laughs> and uh, man, that's just basically, I'm just a, I, I call myself really like a, a life strategist, lifestyle strategist and motivator. And I'm on, uh, you know what? I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I ain't put inspirate on that, it's because you know, everybody got some little kinks to work out, and you gotta show a lot of actions. But I, I'm now, I'm getting up, I'm getting up. You know, yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but I definitely can motivate. <laughs> yeah, man, I know that's right. You motivate right. me. <laughs> man, appreciate it, man. Appreciate yeah. it. I, I tune in when I can, man. You know, I, there's a number of people that I follow. You're definitely one of them. Oh, man. Appreciate that, bro. Yeah, no problem. Man. Everybody needs some. Uh, the uplifting and the motivation, man. And I like Ooh. that. You were real yes, transparent sir. with it too. Real transparent. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thank you, man. Yes, so, sir. All over the South Side, huh? So, yeah. You remind me of me. I'm from Joliet and I live all over Joliet as a child. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, I'm almost like the Joliet Larry Hot. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that works, man. That works, yeah. man. <laughs> oh, shoot. Man, so I want to start back, start with your footwork, man. We want to get some other things, too. We keep it light. We're going to keep it light. But okay. I believe you started footworking early, like around 12. Is that correct? 10 or 12? That's correct. Ten, yeah, between 10 and 12. Uh, 10, I say, because uh, I had a cousin. Well, I have a cousin that was 
footworking and dancing and DJing. He like really inspired me to do all this. Uh, Timmy Rock, shout out to Timmy Rock. Timmy um, Rock. Yeah. He been doing that. I was kind of shy growing up as a kid, man. And, you know, looking, the sitting there. I was always a thinker, first off. So I, I didn't want to really be in the light. But the family gathers and stuff. Timmy Rock get out there. He do the Michael Jackson. He do, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He introduced me to uh, footwork because uh, he always spent hanging around, hung around all the people. Okay. So they, he was into the house back mm. then and everything. So, and the dance group. So I'm like, okay. So one day we had a family gathering. I was probably about 12 then. I got a little courage. I build up. You know, I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah. So the cub, they like, yeah, Larry, we heard you been, uh, you been footwork. I'm like, no, no, no. Uh, they had the video camera. I wish I could find this tape, man. It's funny. Yeah. We had it on tape. And next thing you know, they hyped me up, man. They gave me out there, man. I went out there, battled, battled Tim, my cousin Timmy Rock. Yeah. And ever since then, that, that got my confidence up. I was going. I've been rolling. Right on. This, <laughs> y'all, this is back in the day when folks were like, go, Larry. Uh-huh. Go, Larry. <laughs> go, go. Right. <laughs> yeah, you don't hear folks right. do that too much more. But right. that's, man, right. that's, that's wonderful. It's tight how, like, a lot of times, what, I, what I'm seeing is, like, that's kind of like a lot of dancers start. Is mm-hmm. the family gatherings, man. Yes, like, sir. like I said, Michael Jack, like, I'm be like, hey, boy, get over there, do that, Michael uh-huh. Jack. Right. Something like that. You know, right. you the quarters or something as a kid. Right, right, exactly, <laughs> right. What you right. said to you, you gotta go get you a couple of juices. Yeah, you could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, a fact. Yo, that's yes, sir. Thing, man. So, were you in, like, I'm pretty sure you probably in, in, in at least two footwork crews. Um, I actually. Uh, started out my first dance group was Final Phase. Word. Yeah, I was in Final Phase. Yep, yeah. I was in Final Phase. Yep. Yeah. Um, you know, with dance groups, you got you got different parts of. Uh, you have the dancing side, then you have the um, we call it the gimmicks. I mean, I'm sorry, the footwork side. So the gimmicks is the yeah. dancing side, and then you have the footwork side. Me personally, I um, I just love the footwork. So. I'll wait till like, I got the routine though with the gimmicks, then get out there, then we come out with our footwork routine. Yeah. And then, you know, therefore. But then the culture got to shifting a little bit. Cause mm-hmm. when I first came, with well, my first party I went to was uh Cavalini's. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that was yeah. in Harvey, man. Yeah, that was yeah. in Harvey. Oh my God, man, that changed my life. Uh yeah. Cavalini's, they had they used to come, they had flyers, the flyer head, our people. DJ Rashad, DJ Clint, DJ Malcolm, DJ Spin, um, Latal, and it was a couple other people on this flight, right? So I'm like, man, what's up with this spot? Yeah. Get out there, man. It's just off the chain. Strobe light going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was dark. Everybody was cold to me. Like, it was just like, man. So <laughs> ever since then, I'm like, oh, yeah, I got really, really get in this, you know? But yeah, that's really uh, what I started out. So final phase, then I was in a group called DOC, um, Dancers of Chicago. Okay. Um, yeah, it was a guy named Allen. He um, he started that group, and we uh, it, it's funny because him and Reese are cousins, the leader of final phase. Okay. They cousins, yeah. And so Allen is, you know, then uh, after that I was like, well, the dance group stuff. That's just I, it's just one me. So we started. Me and Timmy Rock, my cousin, started a group called Crucial Impact. Um, yeah, we the had, time Crucial Conflict came out. Was it? It was around that. Yeah, it was around that time. Ninety-five yep. or something. Yep, Crucial okay. Impact by about ninety-six, ninety-seven. Okay. Yep, yep. So we started that. We did a parade, Bud Billiken parade. Um, we did that, man. We was we was pretty we was pretty decent, you know. Um, I still was the footwork. I still. Get, I guess I don't know. I guess I just didn't like the uh, gimmicks. I just wanted to concentrate on footwork. Yeah. So at the Crucial Impact, that's when we started the tunnel. Oh snap! Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, that was our yeah. That's how that was our battle play, the tunnel. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 yeah. The tunnel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the crew call and the track is cold. Yeah. <laughs> we uh man, shout out to the tunnel, man. We had. There's so many people. Woo. Shout out to Timmy Rock, Bernard, Mike Shine, uh, Corley. Man, we got Tonyo, we got Mac Law, 
uh, Young Trish, uh, man, shout out to everybody, man. Magic Mike, DJ Clint. Uh, man, yeah, we had a lot of people, man. You know, and that was that's what that's where it started up for me. Oh man, that's hey, that's awesome, awesome story. Hey, we might have crossed paths, bro, because like uh -huh. I can remember, I don't, I've been to maybe two Cavallini parties, and like okay. yeah, at one point in time. We started getting word of things in the city. Like, well, you know, GCI back then was the main deal. Yeah. Somebody got yeah. on the fires and was telling everybody on the east side, mm -hmm. everybody else at Central and the West, man, man, they got this party, man. So, man, it yeah. was almost like a pilgrimage when Joe had to go to Cavallini's party, man. And I just like you said, yeah. I remember when I got in there, man, mind blown. I remember yeah. it was like it was a wall of mirrors. Uh -huh. And it would be people standing like these speakers stacked up, full work. I'm like, uh -huh. full work in front of the speakers. I'd be like, yeah, that was the speaker, yes, really? sir. <laughs> it was so cold. I was like, oh, yeah. oh man. <laughs> yeah. Was life changer, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You threw yeah. me back on that one, man. That was, that was yes, a lot of party, man. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That was about 96 when yeah. I first stepped in there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Because I was, I was yeah. in high school. Yeah. Around 96, 97. Yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yep. Something else, man. You might have, man. You might have burnt me in the circle of something. <laughs> I, 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 I wasn't there yet. I was, I was a spectator in the corner watching people. I'm like, yeah. Hey. yeah, I'm like, oh, man, okay. So, uh, yeah. All right, man. I got to take this serious. <laughs> you know, man. Oh, yeah. Those yes, were five days, man. A crucial impact. Yeah. How many y'all was in crucial impact? Ooh, it was probably good. Good, almost 20 of us. Yeah, mm -hmm. girls, yeah, girls and boys. Uh, we used to practice at this park in, in High Park on 53rd and Lake Park. Yeah. Uh, we used to practice outside um, at that park for the parade. Yeah, we had, man. Whew. Again, yeah, it was, it was a lot of us, man. <laughs> hey, you yeah. know, it's some, I think it's something special about that word impact. We had a group that was combined of all the all the dancers in Joliet at one point in time. And the okay. group was called J Town Impact. And we were just wow. dancing in the high school, man. Wow. And, yeah, man. And just <laughs> right. You know, the, the, the impact and then you being a part of that because you definitely having a, a great impact on people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What you're doing, man. And again, we're yes, gonna get, get more into that, man. We got to. <laughs> right. We got to. <laughs> But man, so yeah, so your footwork with the Guinness was pretty raw. Pretty, pretty yeah. raw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so what, what'd you get into making tracks? Oh man, making tracks. So man, like I say, I always, I'm gonna go back to, let me see, musician days. My father played the sax. Um, yeah, my whole family on my mother and father's side, they either singers, musicians, or they used to do these things called dusty sets and they used to do imitations like the Temptations, yeah. the Supremes. Uh they used to do, do stuff like that. So they I was I was always too young to be in it, but they used to take cuz Timmy Rock, he, he got to do one show. I got some other cousins that used to do it too. You said you was too young to be in it, so you sing? No, 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 no. See, I couldn't oh, sing. That's okay. What my, and my pops was a singer, too. He had my two older sisters sing. So I, that's what I was going with. I couldn't sing, but I, I could use, uh, it's imitation singing. Oh, okay. I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they yeah. got, but they did have the dance moves, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Do a dance. <laughs> you know, Word. that Jackson fires, all that. So yeah. I'm like, okay. So I come from like a musical family. Then my sisters, they was into house music. So they used to bring the records home. The 45s, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Jack my body, and then I, I get to listen to KKC, Eat Pink House, and all that stuff, right? Mm. So I'm like, man, so that's always been in me as a kid. So fast forward, I really didn't start making tracks till like, like 2016, I want to say. Okay. Uh, what happened was, I went on a tour with uh, DJ Clint. Oh. Um, we did like a little a mini tour of state in the States. Uh, which was dope. And we landed in LA. So we went out there. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of it. a crew out there called Juke Bounce Work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we did a couple of shows shows with them. And um, shout out to Juke Bounce Work, man. They Earth. really lit a fire under me, man. Y'all yeah. love them, man. Joey <laughs> Noir, man. Beautiful people. They said, um, 
Huck, do you make tracks? I'm like, no, I don't make tracks. You know, I was just into the footwork, and, you know. They was like, you sure? You don't DJ won't make tracks? I'm like, no. Nah. They like, man, they like, you know what? Uh, you need to get into it. Mm. I'm like, it's stuck in my head on that on that plane where I'm back. I'm like, man, you really said that. I asked Clint, he's like, man, bro, I got uh, I got some equipment for sale. If you want to start back. I'm get, I started trying to DJ back in 08, 09. I'll get back to that later, though. Okay. <laughs> but uh, he's like, so all you have to do is, uh, man, I'm going to give you, Clint style is, he will give you the tools, but you mm. got to learn your way. And okay. if you got some questions, you can ask him, but he ain't going to sit there with you and do this, do that, do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But you can ask me questions, but I'm, I'll give you the, every tool you need to get there. Give you the drum pack and everything. Like that. So then, GJJR, he had an MP3 for sale. Shout out to JR. Yeah. I was like, man, he was like, you want a bag? An MPC ran. I still got it. <laughs> he like, you want a bag? I'm like, yeah. Went over there, picked it up. Um, he was barbecuing. <laughs> it was my language. But you know what I'm saying? He's barbecuing oh, right. my side. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, man, I bought it from him. Then I locked myself in Cornerstone, and I just got to going. Like, you know, I learned I already knew music counts and everything. Right. And I just got to make it, making it. You know, I'm like, man, I made like probably, I probably made like 10 tracks in a week, you know. And uh, some of them I liked, some of them I didn't like. Mm -hmm. um, but then I was like, okay, bet. So then I decided, I decided to release, a, uh, we released the EP in 2017. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's called Blazing. <laughs> yeah, so that track Blazing. Blazing is from 2017. Yes, sir. Man, I thought that just came out. Uh, no, hey. that's 2017. <laughs> yeah, hey. Yeah, Blazing from 2000. Maybe, maybe be from 2016. Yeah, because that's what I started. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So you was making cold tracks when you first started this. Yeah, yeah, because call it, check it out. When you around it so much, it's like second nature. You know, it was like, oh, man, you know, I got a, I got a special type love for footwork and uh, footwork music, Jew music house, because, uh, you know, not to get too personal, my mother had passed when I was young, when I was 15. Yeah. So me going to these parties, um, meeting everybody, meeting all these people, man, that really kept me going and you know it kind of kept me kept my mind going to something else instead of that so i just got a special love for it you know what i'm saying so and right now at 40 i still love it yeah you know so it was just like second nature to me and man i just told him, i ain't made a track probably in a couple of years because mm. i got like you say i'm doing so much but i was looking at the empty the other day like yeah i got i got some ideas Say be popping in my head. I'm like, oh man, I gotta get back in. <laughs> oh yeah, man, yes, man, definitely, man. Cause the track was cold. I'm tell you, I got my eyes. I gotta talk to my wife after this to see what's going on with Attica. I got, I was trying to, I was trying, you know, I tried to show some kind of love and buy at least one track off the person that just blesses yeah. me with the opportunity to interview him. So I was trying yeah. to find the track off of iTunes and just asked me for a certain credit card number. Uh -uh. <laughs> and, all that, and I'm like, okay. They asked me for the verification. I'm like, well, that ain't my number. Like, I don't know how the right. whole family sharing thing happened, but yeah, man, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna let the yeah, it, track cool, man. Yeah, I saw you got the four, yeah, the four track EP blazing it. Yeah, up. yep. Uh, hey, what was another? Was another one that was around the word hot? Didn't say hot. I got uh, oh yeah, blaze. What's on there? Blazing hot magic. I magic. magic. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. 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 Man. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> I'm very talented, man. <laughs> a fly from back in the day throwing all them parties, man. Designing man, fly. you ain't got no choice. Those flyers, <laughs> man, you got to be out there. <laughs> yeah, man. What's up? Yep. Right on. So, like, what other talents you got, man? We done touched on footworking, DJing. We know we ain't talk about DJing, but we kind of right. in there in the background. Yeah. Uh, track making, motivational speak speaking. Mm-hmm. Like, what else? What else? Because give us a word, man. I'm trying to find out all about Larry. <laughs> man, uh, what, 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 what don't I do, man? They say ah. I'm like a, uh, a, a DJ that uh, uh, they call me the. Uh, my Nigerian buddy, he tell me, he like, man, you like Nigerian, man. <laughs> my Jamaican buddy, like, you like Jamaican, you just work, man, you do it all. Like the head. Yeah, man, so, <laughs> you know, I, uh, I'm a fashion designer as well. Right. Um, yeah, I, man, and I've been into fashion for a long time, since like high school, and uh, you know, I always been like a guy that still to this day, I could walk in a place, and I don't really, I probably wear five percent, five percent designer clothes, mm-hmm. but when I, I know how to put it together, you know what I'm saying. So I walk in a place, they be like, "Man, that's dope, man. Where you get that from? This and that." Or man, who cut your hair? <laughs> who did? You know what I'm saying? So it'd be like, I always been some fast. I just know how to put it together, you know. Like AB, he say, "Put that ish on," you know. I know how to put uh, it on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know, uh, fashion they got a special place too, man. I'm gonna get. I'll, I just really been focusing on the positivity side of it because I feel it's a need for it, for the positivity affirmation on your body. You know, I, I don't have any tattoos, so I can't go that way. But I can't give it to you, man, you wear this, you know what I'm saying? Look at it, if you got a bad day, you know, man, why not wear positivity, you know? Why not, what purpose you're a prophet? Just think about all that, you know? That's what I can do. So I'm just focused on that side right now, but I got so much other stuff in this phone that I'm gonna release. It's just, I'm taking my time. I'm yeah. taking my time. Hey, man. Dude, <laughs> hey, we need about three Larry Hops, man. So <laughs> get all that stuff out, right. man, because it's raw. But, yeah, man, oh, that's dope, man. I love it because it's like you a walk-in message. Like yes, you sir. walk in encouragement, you know? People going to see yes, it. They going to read it. Yeah. You never know when the world was on their mind at that moment. You yeah. know? And that's then they read that. And it, it just helped them keep on going. Yeah, that's a fact, oh, that's man. man. And I and I yeah. looked at the post too, man. Your fashion show. I saw the fashion. Nice. I was at work. I couldn't have a uh-huh. bike, but because right. like, I'm gonna tell it anyway. Yeah, we was at a meeting at work. Right. I got my phone. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I got it. Right. So I'm looking. Right. Like, this fashion show look cool. <laughs> you know what? Um, I tell man, people still waiting on the show. So I was put. I, it was a collective of us putting on these, these fashion shows. Then I was in two other designers' uh, fashion shows. They was pretty dope. And all all of them was dope. I'm like, hey, so they like, when are you gonna bring yours? I was gonna, it's still in the works. It's still in the works, cause 'cause I got some special stuff I wanna do. And I'm gonna do it with a collab, cause I feel like collabing is the way, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause we all reach one, teach one, man. That's the way, that's the way, you know what I'm saying? no. We all trying to get to another level in life. I don't need to help you at the level. We still can always, it's still room to grow. Sky's the limit. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna do it that way, but I'm definitely gonna put on one and uh, invite the world, world and you know the culture definitely got to be implemented in that. So man, it's gonna be that. Absolutely, <laughs> man. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. I'm looking for. Please make sure this is on a weekend. Yes, sir. I, oh yeah. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a weekend. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, man, I, I love it, man. Cause one thing I'm proud of with our generation is we like to be mm-hmm. color coordinated. You know what I'm saying? We, we like, oh yes, sir. We like to make sure it matches. And you definitely your stuff matches. Like I like yeah. that one. Yeah. Yeah. I looked a little while ago. You was working out, man. Hit like doing yeah. the thing. You had the black, uh, the black hoodie and the black flip pants. Yes, sir. The, the, the prosper on both sides. Yeah, both sides. prosper. I'm like, yeah. Man, I'm, yeah. I'm like, that's clean right there, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Me right there. laughs> yeah, man. That, yeah, that was only that was an exclusive jogging suit. I think we only released ten of them. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was probably from like 20, 2021, something like that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we man, they they ate them up, man. Then we did some leggings outfits for the ladies. Oh, Same yeah. way. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Those those dope, man. They ate them up. I said yeah. I got probably got to bring some more of them back out. 
man, man, go ahead, man, do that. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was live, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm digging it. That um. Oh shoot, what I about to say? I'm getting myself. I'm, I'm gonna cheat right now. I'm looking at my list. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm cheating. Let me put my glasses on, but uh, so I can read it. <laughs> hey, so one thing I would love to know, man, with, with, like, see you got all this going going on, and and I know it's more to it than you enjoying it. I, I could tell that enough by what you post. Like, yeah. you a person of substance and depth. Like, everything you do, man, is not just that one thing. Your track ain't just about a footwork track. It's more in, mm -hmm. in there. Your clothing is definitely it's more in there. Like, so mm -hmm. who would you say is like your mission, your, your overall mission in life? At this life? Point? You know, it's funny. This guy asked me that when I was in Georgia at this uh, conference. And I say, it, it's mine. Basically, it's just to motivate and inspire. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's just... I didn't have, okay, I think this in me like that because the type of motivation and inspiration I had growing up was way different than what's, um, what we have right now. Uh, we didn't have the internet to look and say, look, let me type in motivation. We didn't have that. Mm -hmm. All we see is, man, what we see. I grew up in, like you say, all over the South Side of Chicago, right? I'm in a uh, rough neighborhood. You know, Austin is the neighborhood drug dealer. You got the cars, you got the status. He got the girls, he got the money, he living the life, smiling. So it's like, that's all you have to go by. Like, dang, so how can I be like that? Mm -hmm. Now you go over here, you got, you got, um, you so you might got a couple of OGs, like, mm -hmm. that just work, got their suitcase, suitcase, suit and everything again. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, now you look over there, how can I be like that? Yeah. So as a man, you know, so my mother used to always ask me, like, Larry, when you grow up, what you want to be? And I always told her, my mom to be a businessman. Yeah. Not knowing what a businessman really was, but my definition is what I say Uh, That man with that suitcase mm -hmm. and, and the suit. My old man, he never wore, I never seen this man in jeans a day in my life, Cornerstone. All he wore was suits. <laughs> never. So he was, you know, and they was, uh, they was Black Panthers as well. Oh, word. Yeah. Yeah. It's part of the Black Panther Party. Yeah, yeah. So hey, it was a little bit, yeah. yeah. There was a little bit, you know, a little bit revolutionary type of um, upbringing. You know, they had to the party, but this time I sound like Tupac, don't I? <laughs> when they say his story. <laughs> but they yeah. had to the party, but um, you know, man, um, they did the best they could, you know, raising me and my two sisters. And, um, one thing I knew, though, my mother always said, Larry, don't. I mean, she said this so many times, Cornerstone don't make no sense. Don't be a follower, be a leader. So it's like, it's embedded like in my brain. So I look at the drug dealer. I still see the police pulling up on them. I still see people hating on them. You know, it's all type of shootouts. It's uh, you getting robbed. I'm like, oh, I don't really want that type of energy coming to me. You know what I'm saying? So I still look at this guy over here. He working a little bit harder. But his life looked more peaceful with the suit. So I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta veer this way. We all have a choice, you know. You know, you you have that path where you're going straight, then you can go that way or go that way. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, so which way you gonna go? So I chose to go that way. Um, and man, my life just man, man, I ain't gonna say beautiful, but I've been blessed, man. I've been blessed man. with some hurdles. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Gotta overcome some things, but I've been blessed. Um, you know, I don't have a police record or nothing like that, man. I just been, not saying I didn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? I say I'm an angel, but every time I try to go that way, the most have to tell me, get your butt over here, man. This is not for you. This is not for you. So, yeah, man. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Hey, that's an awesome mission. I, and really, man, that's part of why we all here, man. That mission is, is you know, it ain't just mm -hmm. the and all that. Your, your whole deal is like uh, not only bettering yourself, but also other people. You know, yes, indeed. God, this is what you said to me. Like, you you know, you're speaking to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yes, sir. And, and, it, and I know you got peace, man. You, yeah. I mean, you, 
following that, then <laughs> right. right. So yeah. you are that example. When you was a, a young a youngin and you saw the two the two ways mm-hmm. to go. Now yep. you are that way that someone can look at and see what what, what can happen. So you that example of peace now. And yes, success, sir. man. So that's rock. Yep. Man. Yeah. And, and, and I understand, man, with the temptations of the world and what's going on, especially right now, we have so many distractions. Like, mm. um, as men and women, they have these distractions. But mm-hmm. I understand that, you know, it's easy to get thrown off track right now. Like, man, like, <laughs> but I, t- I was just saying, we in a real spiritual warfare right now. And yeah. you got to fight for your positivity. Come on, you say have that. to. Say that. You have to fight for it. Oh man, you know, don't let you know how the cartoons used to be. The mm. angel and the and the and the little yeah, devil on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they still both on our side, but it's like, man, you know, Tom and Jerry used to have them off there. Uh-huh, so yeah. It's like, man, you gotta really fight for your man. Tell him to go ahead and chill out sometimes. You know, mm-hmm. and you're gonna put that thought in your head. You gotta you really gotta fight for it. I, I guarantee you. If you fight for it and you stay on that path, you will be blessed. Mm. You know, and it might not come when you want it to come, but if you stay, it's just like anything you do. You keep on doing, like you said, if you're working out, you keep on pumping, pumping, or you keep on running on the treadmill, you're going you're gonna to get your results. Mm-hmm. There's no fast way to it. No shortcuts. Man, yeah, man, you, you, you said it. You said it, man. Um, and I, I like to take this opportunity to put it out there, man. I know people see me smile and laugh and everything, but in all I'm going to just say Cause some mm-hmm. people put folks on a pedestal too, because mm-hmm. they don't see them laugh, because they don't see them frown or, or complain. Mm-hmm. They think that, oh man, this person is happy. They got it all together. But what you said was key: is you have to fight for it. Cause I guarantee yeah. everybody you see, all the way up to folks on the level of Tyler Perry, uh, on the level of Beyonce, mm-hmm. all these folks, man, that you see smiling, laugh, they they gotta fight. They fight against that negativity, even with Come all. Come on. Like even with all them smiles, man. So mm-hmm. don't 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 let the smooth taste fool you. Yes, sir. Everybody, every one of us, man. We gotta do what yep. we gotta do to stay uh keep, to keep our joy in our yes. peace. So yeah, yep. I'm glad you touched on that one right there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people think doing the positive thing is easy. That's not the easy part. Doing the negative is easy. Mm. Cause then you uh you you with the world, you with everything, you with everything everybody else. Do. So when you do the positive, mm. you really the outcast, you know, and you got to fight to stay the outcast because, you know, everybody else on this side going to come. Oh, man, you're doing this, you're doing that. Yeah, but hey, fight for that positivity, man. It's worth it. It's worth it, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's worth it. Hey, that's a new, that's a new t-shirt title. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> With a boxing glove on it. Right. <laughs> hey, hey, man, let me put that in the uh, back. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I, I like to wear red. I like red shirts. We might have to collab on that, man. We might have to collab on that, man. Let's do a special edition. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm with it. Yeah. With it. I'm putting it in there, man. I, I, I get back to you. Yeah, man, I, I like that. Uh, cool. Oh, What's man. That? So... I, I want to know one thing. It's a question I, I started asking people. And okay. Man, and I ask is because I see the footwork community as more than just a community of people footworking, making tracks and dancing. I really feel like something more can happen with it. Mm-hmm. But I feel like this current condition that is in is not getting to its full potential. Mm-hmm. So, and one of the the, the deal is, um, mm, I don't, I don't, the unit. Okay. I'll be it. I'm like, I'm like a weird situation. I'm like somewhat in it and mm-hmm. it's somewhat out of because of distances. Like living in Joliet, close, mm-hmm. far away. But for proximity, is close if you can drive. But when you a child, you're a teenager far away and even now as a grown man far away because i got you know responsibility work can't be all the way over there you know i'm out out way west southwest suburbs so what would you say is something that can help to 
get it to that point where everybody's collabing, like you say, everybody's uh, on one accord, united, working together. Like, what is something that can help get the community to that point? Man, that's a good question, Cornerstone. Okay. Egos got to mm. get put to the side. That's first and foremost. You you have, um, this really should be a family, family unit because people have known each other so long, like 20 plus years. Uh, you know, we had some detriment, detrimental losses to the, uh, in the community. Um, we gained a lot of people in the community that love it, like genuinely love it. Mm -hmm. But egos definitely got to get put to the side, man. It's some, um, that's one thing. And I think a lot of more collaboration and doing stuff collecting, you know, that'll make it, that'll make it better and make it feel more comfortable for just say, we have people overseas that's in the culture now, you know, like mm -hmm. you say, that'll make more people want to come, like just say Habit Reunion, for example. They might just not want to come for that one Habit Reunion. They might want to come for the culture collectively as a collective um, of a picnic, you know, mm -hmm. footwork appreciation month. That's what I think it needs to be more collabs, man. But it's definitely a lot of egos. Um, I think that's the number one thing. I think everything else, everybody have. I'm seeing more collabs, though. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it trickle in a little bit. But... Ego is definitely, it's things that transpire in the past, but it's just like sometimes you just gotta let it go, man. Let it go. If you really for the culture, like everybody say to this, we're doing this for the culture, you will be able to let that go, whatever you have in your heart towards anybody, and let's do this for the culture. Yeah. That's the main goal. You know, it's not no personal gain for anyone. Let's do it for the culture. And I, I guarantee that will make everybody else want to jump on board. For, you know what I'm saying? And then we just do something big. It'll be dope. I'm waiting on it. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah I'm waiting on it. Me too. Yeah, yeah. I like too, man. What you said, drop the egos. Yep. Man. And when you said personal gain, one thing I want to add to that is for those who are focusing on personal gain, for those who are like, man, I just got, I'm just trying to get this money. If you use companies, big companies as an example, like yep. these are major companies that did well on their own, right? Man, we yep. had a period of time when what they what was they doing? Uh, late '90s, uh, early 2000s. You heard about a lot about mergers, right? Yes, sir. Coming yep. together. So, in a sense, if you can set aside your personal gain and gain by working uh, together as a community, then you will get that personal gain. Because by yes, putting the resources together, it brings it, it like multiplies the income exponentially. Bro, I'm about to cut off, you know, my I ain't got the pay, pay subscription. Uh <laughs> Zoom. So my 30 minutes is about up, less than a minute. Um you, okay. you can we can I send you another link? You got more time? Yeah, I got more time. Good workout. Hey, well that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned a lot. Be sure to check out our guest of the day's information, uh, individual social medias and websites. That way you can support because it's a good thing that we all support each other, right? And yo, give us the works now. It's every second and fourth Wednesday of the month. So stay tuned on the fourth Wednesday of this month. We shall continue our conversation with today's guests. But until then, be sure to take care of yourself. God bless you. And footwork out. Footwork out.